This is our collection of power supplies for computers here in the shop. And this is just one box of about four boxes that we have. Every time that we um, take a computer apart because it's defective, we always like to save the power supply. And we put it in boxes and we reuse them in other machines that might need them. One of the problem with keeping all these power supplies is you're not sure if they're good or not. And you hate to hold on to something that's so big and clumsy with all these wires on it if it's not working properly. But it's such a pain to hook one of these things up and to check it that oftentimes you just do it with trial and error, especially in a repair shop. But recently I received a tester in the mail from my friends at focalprice.com and it is right here. They sent this out to me and asked me to give it a try and do a review and um, so that's what I'm going to do today is try out this power supply tester. So let me uh, get set up here for just a second and we'll take a look at this power supply tester coming up. Okay, this did come from China and it took probably about a week and a half to get the package, but it came just fine. I've wanted one of these for a long time and when I seen that they had one and they were willing to let me try it out, I figured why not, let's give this a shot. So this is what they sent me here. And So first impressions are good. The connectors seem all in order. I've noticed that this is a 24 pin. So this will accept the newer 24 pin motherboard as well as the 20 pin connector. Looks like there's a SATA connector on the side there. And that's a Molex for standard CD-ROMs or hard drives, the 5-pin. And then here up at the top here they have 8-pin, uh, P4, and 6-pin. And look at that, they even have a floppy drive connection. So that's really good. Now this is a digital power voltage power supply tester and all you're supposed to do is be able to just plug it in and it should read out for you so I've got a power supply here that I want to check so let me plug this in and see what happens here okay so I had to get a few plugs and whatnot to get this going I think I have everything I need here so the first step in checking this power supply tester is just to plug it in and I can see where this is going to be pretty easy to do now this is a 20 pin on this power supply the newer ones would have 24 and that's what I mentioned earlier if you have um, if you have a 24 pin it'll take up these last two pins here otherwise just keep it to the top Okay. And at this point we can also plug in, I have a P4 here, we could plug in and that goes right here on the top. You can see where it's listed as a P4. And if I have a P8 I could put it there. There's, or I'm sorry, a 6. There's a 6 there. So I could actually put the 6 here if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and turn this on and see what we get. I'm just going to go ahead and plug the power supply in. See what happens. Well, that's a really nice display. Now, this power supply should be good because I took it out of a working computer recently. 
I really like the way that this thing is displaying. I, I hope this is showing up for you. It shows the 12 volt line, the 3.3 volt line, and the 5 volt line. And they're all lit up blue. And it actually reads out the voltages for us. Um, the, the 5 volt is at 4.8 the 12 volt is at 11.6 and the 3 volt 3.3 is right on and it also lists your negative rails here too so this power supply checks out great let's see what would happen if I um, disconnect the P4 Oh, look at that. It's got a problem. Because I disconnected it. Let's see what happens if I put a standard Molex connector to the bottom here. These are all keyed, so you don't have a problem with messing it up. So it wants that uh, voltage over here. Let me put the P4 actually let me put the floppy in let's see what it does here oh look at that checks out they turn green that's neat I'm just plugging everything in here And then the beeping stopped when I put my P4 back in. This this uh, power supply doesn't have any SATA connectors on it, so I can't test that. But I really like this little tester. I'm going to have to try it out more and, and see how I like it. But uh, I like the fact that it has a readout, and it's very easy to see. I don't know if this camera is picking this up or not, but this uh, screen is very readable very doable and when I unplug this you can see where that went off interesting oh I see this is coming off that's why I leave that I have a power supply here that I wrote bad on. Give me a minute, I'm gonna hook it up and we're gonna plug it in and see what it does. Hang on for that. Okay, I'm back. I grabbed a couple different power supplies. This one is marked as dead. I, I actually marked this one as dead. And it also has the 24 pin. Whereas the other one was just a 20 pin, so you can see this one will fill the whole area. And this also has SATA connectors. So I'm just going to hook as much up as I can here. There's a P4. Oops. There we go. What else am I missing? Put in a Molex. So like I said, I, I listed this power supply as dead, so let's see what happens when I plug it in. Look at that. Nothing happens. Absolutely nothing. Boy, that wasn't very exciting, was it? I have another one here. Let me unplug this one real quick again. I've got another power supply that I wanted to try out um, that I marked as partially bad. So hopefully, you know, just a part of it would be bad and we can see what that would look like. Here it is here. So let's try this one. This is back to the 20 pin. Yeah, we'll hook 
go up there. There. And it has a floppy. This one doesn't even look like it has a P4 on it. No, it doesn't. So this is an, quite a bit of older power supply. All it's on it is Molex connectors and a 20 pin and a floppy. So anyway, let's go ahead and plug this one and see what happens. Well, the 12 volt line two is blinking which would be this wire here no try this it must be it must be the 12 volt that's on this line I honestly haven't read the directions yet on how to work this so I'm kind of guessing as I go it doesn't look real tough to figure out though. It's listed here as 12 volt number one and 12 volt number two is what it is. And I think that this was probably one over here and then two is on the uh, motherboard connector. So this has given me a beat that there's something wrong with this power supply. And that is absolutely correct because I put this power supply um, aside because I knew there was a problem with it and I knew I was going to be getting this tester and I wanted to see what it would do. Well that's it guys that is our little usage guide and review of the digital power supply tester by focalprice.com and you know I think I really like this I'm going to have to use it a while to tell for sure. I like the fact that I can take the portability of it and just put it inside a case and check the power supply without actually removing the power supply. I really like that and the price cannot be beat. I mean this thing's $15.50. I'll definitely put the link in the description below. Go ahead and take a look at the focalprice.com website. They've got a lot of cool products for techs. Um, I noticed that they had a um, motherboard tester in there and I'm gonna to try to get that next and I'll let you know when that video comes out so that's it for this one this is the digital power supply tester by focalprice.com if you like this video please leave us a thumbs up if you get one of these testers let me know how yours goes too I'll see you next time thanks for watching bye for now Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.